Traffic, Traffic Beaks, thanks, thanks for subscribing. So everybody is asking me to check out FL Studio. They're saying that it has time warping now, and I believe it when I see it. So um, the reason why I don't even use FL Studio that much because of the time warping isn't that good. And that's the only reason why I just don't use it or whatnot for the most part. I really like everything else, to be honest, but so I'm gonna just gonna grab this sample over here. And let's see, uh, no. And I would, what? Time warp sample? Oh, that's crazy. Hold on, I, I got to see this. All right, so it opens up new time. So that's suspected. And new time is actually pretty dope because you can actually move these regions around and stuff like that. And it, and it like locks into the grid. Seeing that it's like that, let me go ahead and, um, yeah, I think that was right. <laughs> We'll go with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drag it in here. I'm gonna see if that works correct. Oh my God. <laughs> Hold on, let me play it, man. That's gotta be a fluke. Let's play it. Let's hear it. Uh, I got the beep. I got the metronome on. Let's turn that down a little bit. Uh huh. Let's see if it loops. Oh, that's crazy. All right, let's just move it up a little bit in BPM. All right. Oh, so that works. So what else works? Pitch, it's gotta be some type of flaw. No. <laughs> hey, that's actually the only reason why I haven't been using FL like that is it's a pain to ask the sample in here. Um, I don't know. Let's try it another test. I'm, I, I, I'm thinking this is this is a fluke so far. Uh, I actually seen uh, MG do this right here, so I know this is actually uh, acid eye. See, it's acid eye. And actually, I already know what to do here. This is what I learned from MG: resample uh, something. Uh, you have to right click on something. Oh, okay, time. So. Uh, two bars, one bar, four bar. So that I want to see what that does here. So that's cool. That's cool. Pitch down. Yeah, that's crazy, man. But the real test, though. Let's do a real test. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all this stuff here. Uh, go into tools and uh, where is it at? Micros, purge audio. Uh, it's been a minute since I've done that. Purge on unused audio, okay. Now we're gonna do a real test here. We're gonna do a real test here. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna grab a drum line of some sorts. I'm gonna go to a, a certain BPM here. I'm gonna go down to 77 here. I'll use that. So from what people are telling me is that I can go uh, from my playlist. Oh, well, you can go in your browser and right click and it has time warp. Wow. So now I'm going to go over here, edit in here. And again, remember, you can mess with these regions and make this your own drum loop. That's the thing about new time that I think a lot of people are overlooking is that you can actually make this into your own drum loop of any sort. So of course, you you know, if you did anything and you wanna take it back, you can undo it. But uh, now, now that we have that here, I'm gonna go and uh, drag it into here and make this, uh, make this up a little project or something. Now, what I wanna test is, I wanna see if they improve Slice X. So it has time stretching in here, but I think that's always been there. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna take a sample I got a sample over here because I was doing another project. That was the last thing I did in here. I got this sample. I'm gonna go and edit in Time Warper. Uh, before I edit in the Time Warper, I'm gonna make sure that I take auto turn auto dump off. Oh my God, I hate that auto dump feature. It's, it's horrible. Um, I'm gonna go and grab the sample, put it in here. Uh, and I don't have any auto chops, thank goodness. Uh, I'm gonna go over here and slice medium uh, grid or, or was it medium grid slicing, my bad. So it's gonna go to the, oh, okay, that's way too much. 
that's way too much so let's go to large grid slicing there we go and it's going to slice everything to grid uh i see that the tempo says 71 bpm uh i don't know Oh, it's working. All right, let's see. Let's uh, quantize that. So I'm going to raise the BPM a little bit. All right. So it didn't do it. Kind of disappointing. Uh, so what I'm what I'm guessing is uh, per when you do something inside of uh, Slice X. Uh, and this is my assumption. I'm just doing this off of, you know, not knowing anything. Uh, you have to uh, settle with a BPM. Then go into edit time warper and then uh, go in to the time uh, warper itself drag it into there in here uh into slice x and then i'm gonna go ahead and do a large grid slice because it's slicing to grid and now that it has the new bpm maybe perhaps it'll work uh let's see yeah it's a little off i, ch I chalked that up to the way that i chopped the sample Cause I chopped it to the, to the grid instead of just adjusting it properly. So that that's, that's fine. So which one was it? It was off. All right, let's mess with it. That's cool. Uh, maybe, maybe right here. Yeah, that sounds a little more natural. So, look, oops. All right, so there's a little delay in it. Um, I don't know why it has that little delay. I think it might have to do with the way that the sample was. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That's why. Uh, I did something. I did something weird here. Uh, let's go. Um, time war sample. So let's go into here. Boom. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it's just a little off. Um, right there. Just a little off. So that has a little something to do with it. But that's cool though. Cut. Let's cut that little part off here. Otherwise, this is pretty damn good. And it's added it back on here so it can be looped again loop perfectly. FL stepping up. I don't know. <laughs>